It's going to be tough, though, because the Cleveland Browns need a reason for optimism as well. And they're also in the AFC North. And uh, I'm just going to start with the depth of the roster. You know, the Browns, I, you, you, maybe you didn't feel it last year because they didn't win uh, a ton of games. Um, they in, in Deshaun Watson struggled a little bit when he came back. But the Browns have built a roster where you're not going into the draft saying, hey, you got to fill this starting spot or these six starting spots. The Browns are deep. And I think that depth is going to show up on the field this year. Uh, as long as Deshaun Watson plays to his capabilities. And since it's the optimism show, we'll just say Deshaun Watson will get back to his 2020 level of play when he was legit. Yeah, I mean... It was it first... 2019? When was the last time we saw him play, Sam? Uh, it was 2020. No, it was 2020. It was 2020. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, the first reason for optimism has to be that it would be very difficult for Deshaun Watson to be as bad next year as he was last year. So... Any kind of improvement is going to help, and there's a large room for him to get better and get towards where we've last seen him. Forget, I mean, that 2020 grade was a 92.5, which puts him up there with the Josh Allens, the Joe Burrows, the Patrick Mahomes of the world as basically one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Even if we assume that that is an unrealistic baseline, that throwing for 8.9 yards per attempt um, you know, he, he had a pass rating of 112 that year. If we assume that that's an unrealistic uh, expectation, and even if he goes back to being the player that he was the two years before that, where his grade was 81.3, 82.7, you know, a more realistic kind of area, that's still a jump in almost 30 grading points in where he was last season. So if that happens, they're in business. But the other reason for optimism is, it's no longer just Miles Garrett on his own on the defensive line. Yeah. Now it's Miles Garrett, Dalvin Tomlinson, Zadarius Smith, uh, Obo, uh Isaiah McGuire. You know, they, even if guys like uh, Alex Wright don't take steps forward from a year ago, Siaki Ika in the draft as well. Like they have a defensive line that should actually be able to make an impact, which is going to help the back end. Denzel Ward, um, you know, JOK, Greg Newsom. So Cleveland's defense, I think, should be dramatically better than a year ago. Yeah, there's that depth, right? All, all along the defensive line for the first time in years. They got some receiver depth, just overall pass-catching depth. Uh, Browns winning the AFC North this year with all that. Uh, all that depth and Deshaun Watson bouncing back.